beautiful Sunday morning here on the Greg Said It channel. And I just definitely, I want to start out by shouting out Jackson State for their accomplishment. Yesterday I was at the game, as I said, at, what is it, Park? I don't know, Georgia State Stadium. And they put a beating on South Carolina State. Well deserved. It was two years in the making. And they did a good job. Very sound, very disciplined. Very good game from beginning to end. I don't know why they had to let them score in the last like 18 seconds of the game. I guess the reserves out there, but 37 to seven. There was 37 to zip to the end of the game. And they did it. And I'm glad they accomplished that. I, I been with Coach Prime, I have mixed feelings, but I definitely, I didn't like the way the MEAC was kind of bullying. You, you know, um, Jackson State for one, I guess it was targeted at Coach Prime. Maybe it was targeted at the SWAC. It's been a competition for a long time. I think with the, the challenge has been a split victory, but in the celebration bowl it's kind of been offset where the MEAC has been dominating that. But I have my opinions and clearly it shows that they're not dominant. And um, the MEAC has more of a break and they have more time to watch the SWAC beat up on each other before the celebration bowl. I think that's a big advantage. The teams get the rest. And they get to watch more film and focus on who they're going to play and versus all things are equal when that summer challenge game in August. And we've seen it was no, and I, I don't think you can say it was the coach. And they just got beat. And to be honest, I don't think that South Carolina is the team that they used to be talent wise, quarterback receiver, running backs were decent, but it was no big difference. I wouldn't say that coach TC is a bit different. I just think it was overinflated. I don't think MIAC is a stronger conference like that. Like, But it's competition. People say what they want. And it brings me to mind of like what we're seeing with Coach Prime. I think people are competitive. I think people want to say, hey, you know, we're better. My team's better. And that's just healthy competition. And it's, it's that's football. But I think some people really believe the hype. And I think that the hype is not as one-sided as they say. I don't think the hype is on Coach Prime. So I think the hype is against them, too. And it has been. And it's not realistic. I don't think it was realistic when he was at Jackson State, when they just prayed for him to get beat every week, and he didn't. But I think it's a combination of, you know, competition and some real hate. And some people really believe that hype. Me personally, I've said over and over, it's not a secret, I'm a Coach Prime bandwagoner. I'm with Coach Prime from Atlanta. He started his career in Atlanta. Um, he did baseball and football here. I was a baseball football athlete. He played both at the professional level at the same time. I think if I had to choose one of my favorite athletes, the best athletes, um, he would be number one, especially at this point in my life, realizing what he's accomplished. And me, I support him because one, the hate is, uh, and they don't give him credit. But people don't realize that Coach Prime and his son and his staff did a good job of doing something never been done before. And we got to think about it like this. You have the nerve to question people being a bandwagon. He has made football fun. He's made it bigger than football. People who don't even watch, never played football, cannot speak on football. They're more aware. He's made football more aware uh, to the average person. People actually get to know the players and the personalities and even the background of the players. Only super duper super fans could do that. People don't have a life. Um, I would say they it's the big part of their life. They watching the stats and they're following it. And you have people like that at professional level, college, and even some high school. And more power to them. But Coach Prime has done all the work for you with his staff, his son Bucky, well off media, reach the people, um, and a lot of other channels. You know that do a good job of letting you know about the players. Um. And that allows you to connect. It's almost like a movie. Movies not real. But if a movie does a great job with the storyline and even the advertising of the movie before promoting it, but just the movie itself, and how it flows, you connect with the character. You you feel like you know them and you you feel connected where you want to see certain things happen. That's where the underdog story comes from. Like I say, Coach Prime is a overdog being promoted to underdog because people keep underestimating him but i think he has the fans he has because of the up closeness the realness it's almost like a reality show in football 
where you get to see behind the scenes. And, and that's deserving. That work is deserving of the respect of anybody, you know, to be able to. It's a product and you connect with that product and you will follow that product. And he's done it at two different schools. So clearly he's doing something right. And that's a big reason why so many of us follow him. I, I played football. I played football all the way through. Didn't do professional, but I, I played football all the way up to college. And even now, I'm, I'm not that gun over football. Let's be real. I'm not sitting watching football. They have things to do. I have businesses. I have family. I have other things. And I've never really been that, you know, even though I played it because I had other interests. And I still do. But he makes it worth your while. You get so much. You get the, the inspirational lessons. You get the, the storylines. I mean, as a business person, I, I learn marketing. I get some ideas, even with my channel. It's been a great inspiration for me to even do what I'm doing here. I could have been doing this, and I've helped and instructed other people to do it. But honestly, they've inspired me to do this. I mean, I'm watching. I said I might as well document it and just get better at what I do that I've been putting off. So it's an inspiration all the way around. And to to not see that, to not value that, you, you lost in, in delusion. It's not that serious, but, it, it, you know, it's, it's fun competition. But for you to ignore what this man is doing on the football, on the business, on every level, you missing the ball and you, you got to grow up. You got you to gotta wake up to not see the man for what he is. It's bigger than football. He, he says it's bigger than football. He's teaching these people how to be men. He's teaching them how to brand. Let me show you this. I went to the Jackson State game, and I did recognize some of the players that he brought there that was there with him. But it's not the same because it's not him. It's okay, the football is good, great. But it's bigger than football. I don't I don't follow them like that, but when I did, I knew the players. I, I didn't really know the players, especially new ones, not because I'm not not just because I'm not following them, but because it's not that same branding. Now we look at Colorado, people who really fall in Colorado, not just the haters jumping in, and they say, if you really fall at Colorado, especially from the beginning, from what, December? You would see the stories behind each player. You got channels like Cheryl C, who's doing this upcoming channel, doing a great job. Um, Life and Football, who interviews the players. You're not seeing that. But that's that's part of that prime effect. It's big, bigger football brands and coaches. They're not doing that. He's bringing that to the table. So you know these players because of that. Before they even step foot on the football field at the school they're at, they played at other schools. You didn't know who they were. Maybe they did an interview or two. He is allowing these boys to be known, not just to be a celebrity, but to know them beyond their football career. It's definitely going to make them easier to target for NILs because people actually know who they are. They see their face, their personality. It's bigger than football. A lot of channels have coming up off his content at JSU, and I don't. They not, may not be doing the same now, and I'm sure they noticed the difference than when he was there. And say, it's me. It's not you. It's who you're covering. It's where the eyeballs are going. It's where who people want to hear from. You think it's about you until that person is gone. Or are you going to be able to do what he did? You probably can't because he came with a brand. But he understands that he's going to deliver on what he said. He's going to get these kids exposure. He's going to get them the NILs. He's going to get them to the next level. And a great part of that is people knowing you exist. It's knowing that you have what you have. A lot of businesses, a lot of people not successful because people don't know they exist. It's not that they're good or bad. Or not that they're bad. It's just that I guess it will be automatically bad because you're going to do bad because nobody knows who you are and what you have to offer. Branding and marketing goes a long way. Colorado Buffalo's brand has come a long way. The football team has come a long way. And that's what it's really all about. And, yeah, we do believe they're going to win because we follow them. And, yeah, you could say it's a hype and bandwagon, bandwagon, but why not? We're invested in the success of these, these players because of the great job that he's done on letting us know that he exists. You probably didn't know they exist at the other school, but you know now. And he's delivering on that. And that right there makes me look forward to the season. You know, 
Well, yeah, we talk drunk and hype. That's what happens in football. But that's why we do what we do. And, man, we're looking forward to a season. And they win. The haters are going to hate. It's going to be even better for the story. It's going to be exciting. And you should want that. Why? You, unless you're just a hater, you just want them to fail like they did something to you. Everybody got this hating spirit now, hating people don't even know. They ain't did nothing to them. Quit investing in the hate. You know, invest in love or invest in yourself. You don't have time to hate when you invest in yourself. We want these young men to succeed. We back their story. We back their coach. And and we believe they're going to gonna do well. And we look forward to next Saturday noon. I'm going to be here live. If you watch this video, every one of you right now, like, subscribe. We're going to be here for the season. We're going to go live. We're going to do some, some recaps, some commentary. If you have something to say, if you're a hater, feel free to join in. If you're a supporter, feel free to air your voice out. That's what it's about. We have an opportunity to this platform to, to, to say what we have to say.